What is going on guys, today we are looking at 92 flashback Marcelo. Obviously we had a lot of him way, way back in like, what, FIFA 17, 16, 18. He was always pretty much high rated until last year where he dropped down from an 88 base to an 85. And this year we have got him at an 88, but no informs or anything like that. I don't believe he is first team for Real Madrid anymore. So it is kind of like one of the last years that you'll see him at the club. And more than likely, if he does spend more time there, he will end up getting a flashback pretty much most years because he is an iconic left back. Him and Dani Alves were the Brazilians for La Liga that were just incredible. Obviously in FIFA 19, we did get a team of the year and 18, 17 and 16. So he's had a good run. And this year, it's, it's a very expensive card. 800,000 coins at the moment. And that's with the market absolutely on the floor. You need to give up an 84, 5, 6, 7, and 88 rated team. So it is quite a big one. And if I was saying to ever do this card, I would wait until the premium upgrade packs are out. Because then you can get duplicate team of the seasons to obviously then go and get him done. Obviously, if you did get enough fodder in the Premier League, then obviously then you've got enough there. We have also got Coutinho as well as a very nice um, strong link. It's not a perfect link because obviously Barca, but a nice strong link there with both flashbacks being looking looking pretty incredible. He has come from an 83 with a huge upgrade of plus 11 on his pace, 12 passing, 5 shooting. I think 15... Is it 15? Or is it 5, five dribbling, 14 defending, and 13 physical? So a huge, huge upgrade. And obviously, he is a 5-star, 4-star. In terms of his normal card, he is already still a 5-star, 4-star. Just double-checking on that one. And the trait side of stuff, we've got flair and outside of the foot shot, which you're not really going to use the, the, the shooting one as much. He may venture forward every now and then, but I just don't see it happening. Obviously, defensively and physically is a very good card, and we will be whacking that anchor on him to make him into a 95 left back with 95 pace 95 defending and 96 physical so let's get into him and see if he's worth it Marcelo on the out Ronaldinho is going to come in and just pinch it away from him can't be letting that happen Marcelo is going to keep running Son's going to try and cut in on the inside it's a great tackle from Marcelo Marcelo making that run that pace increase is very very nice to Marcelo again. The one thing that I think you're going to find with this Marcelo is the kind of the the wing play that you're going to get, like the kind of lovely ball over the top. Can he get to it? I don't think he can. But the one thing you're going to find with him is just the the kind of wing back support you'll get from him. With a lot of the left back and right backs nowadays, the stats just they just go towards a kind of wing back sort of scenario because he's got the dribbling and passing as well as Marcelo being that sort of player. He was always one that you could find on the wing, more than likely crossing a ball in every now and then. He does do that quite well. And even just the one twos, the passing's going to be absolutely phenomenal from him. Marcelo gets the lovely control, finding down the wing. Like I say, the, the kind of left wing back role for him is going to be a nice one at best. Go with that double one two. Oh, it's sold him on the pass, but he's managed to find it. Lovely bit of dribbling. Obviously, that five star skill's coming into handy. Goes for the shot. Oh, Marcelo nearly. The best thing about Marcelo is I believe you can do it pretty much. Oh, wow, Asensio. You can do it pretty much most of the game, and he will not tire from it. I remember back in like the FIFA 16, 17 era where he was just next level to play with. And same with FIFA 19, to be honest. The team of the year that he had was absolutely incredible. So it's nice to see him back. Obviously, like I say, you're always going to find a flashback Marcelo if he is in the game for Real Madrid. And I do not understand what is going on with the passing with these players. Even, I think that was Kunde or Mar Mar uh, Mangala going wrong there. Marcelo going to see it out this time. Little ball into Asensio. Again, he's just making that pass up. Was gets up and manages to take it, though. Marcelo with a lovely challenge. And we do manage to get the defense back in time there. Out to Marcelo to see it out. Not really going down the left-hand side. Just because he knows where Marcelo is. He knows his number. And he knows he's going to be very, very hard to try and beat past. Marcelo sees it out with a lovely interception. Marcelo watching at Mukiele. It's gone for the straight cross, but it's not gone at actually anywhere. Find it back into him. We go down the wing as we know Asensio is completely free with Mukiele up top. What can we find? Can we get the assist that we've wanted? Into Suarez. Into Messi. One more to Coutinho. Cuts it back. Goes across goal. Ah, and a keeper's making the save again. 
Marcelo seeing it down a wing. Find a bit of Messi. It's a lovely weighted ball in. If we find someone else, he knows that we're going with Coutinho. Marcelo with the interception, toying with him. It's that lovely scoop turn. That really, oh, that, that really does wonders if you can pass it right as well. So going into the overall for Marcelo, obviously back in the day, like I say, now we can actually see it. We've had him since FIFA 10. He is 32 years old, and I think it started to get better. I think in FIFA 16, yeah, FIFA 16, he got an 83 on the base, and then obviously managed to get himself in the team of the year. He then went up, up, and up into 86, 7, and 88, where he maxed out, and then he's been dropping ever since. So it's unfortunate that we have only got an 83, no informs or other specials other than this flashback, but as long as he is in Real Madrid he will get a flashback every year it's very much like Ibra if he didn't say anything then we would have got him it's just a given that we get him every single year and this is the same with Dani Alves if we manage to get Dani Alves back into any team other than I think Libertadores without the Brazilian license we more than likely would have a flashback Alves as well but he is a five star four star he's a very very good player the only uh, kind of difference is we have got a very good uh, Mendy which to be honest you could whack at centre back and I think it would be absolutely fine. Um, you've also got Jordi Alba to compete with now. Um, Lodi is in the end. So I think that one for me is no competition. At level 30, a 90 left back when we've already literally just got Mendy, Marcelo and Alba. I just don't see what the point with that is. I'd go for at least 93s, 94s, but that's just unfortunately what the season gives us. In terms of the SBC, again, I would definitely not do this one with coins. Always do it with untradeable fodder because it is going to be expensive just because of how many SBCs and what you've got to give up. An 88, 87 with an inform, 86 with an inform, 85 with an inform, and also 84 with an inform. 88 is going to be the toughest one to do, but again, duplicate team of the seasons, they're going to be 90 pluses, so you're going to have multiple chances to obviously get big pulls and just whack them in, and it makes it a hell of a lot cheaper in the long run, and you only need 40 chems, so you can pull other players from other areas as long as you've got some uh, kind of like links between them. Them, 40 chem should be absolutely no problem i would recommend depending on what you've got i would i like this card i think he's a very very good card but it all depends who you've already got at left back if you've got foot birthday mendy i wouldn't bother if you've got an icon um for the likes of i'm trying to remember, roberto carlos probably not worth doing a heavily because how much it costs i really think the value should definitely be halved like Cortinho basically i think they've kind of gone a bit heavy on the spcs as that as this day we got marcelo we got rodrigo and de jong as show, uh, showdown cards that finished before obviously we got any upgrade packs so i really don't see why they did that it just makes no sense when you kind of not got enough fodder to go around. There's already so many SBCs doing. Then to bring out an 800k left back just doesn't make any sense to me. But I think he is a good card. I'd definitely like to see a Cam Marcelo again. But unfortunately, I feel like his time at the club is pretty much over with not playing much first-team football. I think, what, 14 games out of the entire season, two matches in the Champions League. It's not awful, but... Again, he's getting kind of pushed out now. I feel like he'll be playing in kind of like how uh, English teams do with the cup games. He'll play them, but not really any of the ones that matter, as obviously Mendy is the one to really take the lead. But I would recommend him. Fodder only. Don't use coins. Make sure you like and subscribe on the video. And I'll see you all for the next one.